I don't want to speak for everyone and say we, but I don't love God the way that I should. I don't choose him as often as I could. I still deny him access to particular parts of my life. And even in the wildest of situations, in the back of my head, I still doubt sometimes that he will take care of me. If we're being honest, there is no way that any of us will ever love God the way that he deserves. This relationship will never be equal. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son. He chose to do that for us out of love. And here's the easy part of the message. We just have to choose Jesus. And when we think about this after the fact, what could be better? Absolutely nothing. This relationship comes with a personal choice. It's there for you. You just have to accept it. That being said, there is a reality outside of this that does not involve love. Nobody wants to talk about this anymore, so everyone chooses not to. But love and our choices are synonymous. We know too much now, I know too much, to not say anything. It should be all of us, but only some of us will choose to say this. Hell is very real, and sin is very real. And you can't continuously choose the wrong thing over God and think that you love him. And I'm no old-fashioned guy. Like, none of us are better or worse than the next person. There will never be a loving relationship in your life where the outcome of it is not based off your choices. And that's just me being transparent with you. I don't want to be somebody who only tells you part of the truth. Jesus has constantly been denied and doubted since the womb. From when Mary and Joseph couldn't find a place to stay all the way to standing on that platform with Barabbas and Pilate. Even after he died on the cross for us and resurrected his disciples, when they saw him, they worshiped him, but some doubted. And I get it, it had to be this way, it was part of the plan, but it is finished. It doesn't have to be that way anymore. I don't want to doubt your power anymore, God. I don't want to overlook your sacrifice. I don't want to take your love for granted. We need to choose you. In Jesus' name, amen.